Hey kids, it's a Bissendon and Flyer here, hope you're well. Absolutely beautiful winter's day here in Blighty. It's late February 2016 and I'm on the uh, 2016 Triumph Street Twin. It's the first chance I've had to uh, come out and have a ride on this brand new for 2016 bike and uh, very much looking forward to giving it a little test run. So stick around, stay tuned and uh, I'll give you my first impressions type review of the Stri Triumph Street Twin. So the very first thing you notice when you uh, jump on one of these street twins for the first time is just the seating position is uber comfortable. It's uh, very, very reminiscent of my uh, street triple actually. feels very familiar in that respect. And the bike feels really light. And she sounds great as well. It's got the uh, 270 degree firing order. This one's just a basic bike with a standard exhaust. And she's got a sort of a low thrumming about her that's really quite nice and the other amazing thing given the uh, bike has reduced horsepower over the outgoing Bonneville models is the fact that uh, the thing really does pull at low speed so in the sort of 20 to 60 type um, speed bracket the thing just goes they've uh, changed the torque curve to make it a bit more usable in those sort of real world speeds and let's face it on these this sort of bike these sort of retro design almost cruiser bikes the sorts of speeds you're going to be doing aren't going to be really high speed stuff anyway so that's where it really matters so well done to Trump for uh, doing the tweaking so I first saw this bike uh, at the NEC show back in November um, I think they were announced um, in around about September time 2015 and it's taken this long to get them to the uh, showrooms for test ride purposes so I've been itching to have a go on one of these and I uh, have to say it's, it feels better to ride than I expected for such a good value bike, I think uh, retail, they're going to be, I'm not sure what the price is, but they're around about 7,100 I think is the anticipated price. Um, really good value, so it's right there against things like the Ducati Scrambler, which I rode last year. So it's going to be an interesting comparison. I for one am a Triumph fan, as you may know, and uh, I have a natural predisposition to Triumphs. So, uh, I think if I was in the market, I'd be uh, I'd be a bit pro Trump in the first place anyway. This to me just feels um, a bit more of a complete bike than the Scrambler, and what I mean by that is, uh, although it's undeniably a modern bike to ride, it feels modern, um, but it still looks retro. So it's got that uh, same mix of modern retro as the Scrambler did. They seem to have done it in a more homogenous way, in that it just seems to be integrated better. There's nothing about it that sort of looks half modern and, and half retro. It's all it's done really nicely. I'm not explaining that very well, but I just think the design of the bike, the features, the details, just hold together better than they did on the Scrambler, which was a sort of an awkward mix to me uh, of, of really modern uh, against the retro design. There's no doubt the Scrambler is a much faster bike, though. Uh, this is, uh, is a more relaxed ride altogether. What I need to do now, though, is get rid of this car. Gearbox is lovely on it. She just snicks into gear, lovely and sweetly. I guess that might be just because it's a brand new bike. Let's face it, most new bikes do that. It does feel nice. Brakes aren't fantastic. It's just got a single um, disc up front. I mean, it's adequate, but it's not. Uh, it's not super stopping power. But then again, you're not going to be uh, herring about on this like a lunatic anyway. Hopefully. One thing I don't like very much are these mirrors. Uh, number one, they feel very close to you. Uh, I don't much like the round design. Uh, and also, the, the visibility out of them isn't great. Uh, I'm just really seeing my elbows. So black mark there. So far the only black mark though, the rest of it, really impressed. My feet are sort of tucked underneath and slightly behind my knees. So it's certainly not a foot forward position. Uh, but it is very comfortable and very upright, as I say, very reminiscent to the Street Triple. She feels very light on the move. Let's uh, stop over here and uh, show you around the bike. So here she is then, the brand new 2016 Triumph Street Twin. It's a 900cc parallel twin, and Triumph very wisely, in my view, have kept the uh, 270 degree firing order of the old uh, um, air called Triumph Scrambler and that gives it the characteristic uh, sound that uh, hopefully you heard when I was riding her. Uh, she's got a really nice low rumble and the 270 degree firing order really does give it some character which I love and I think that's a great move. Styling very much retro, very basic looking bike, very simple uh, which is part of its charm. 
Uh, it doesn't have any riding modes, but it does have some electronic trickery on it in that uh, it has a ride-by-wire throttle, uh, and that also means that you get the tra traction control and ABS, which is all switchable, so uh, nice features, essentials uh, in my mind. Uh, nice looking bike, uh, this one's just the standard machine, it's got the standard exhaust and as I say sounds quite nice like that. It's got the, uh, as I say, single um, disc up front which is adequate for the job um, but not amazing. Um, so in, as far as that's concerned, um, you know, the, the spec isn't that high. Done a good job on keeping the radiator nice and small. As far as the specs are concerned, it's, uh, you know, the numbers aren't big uh, in terms of horsepower. Uh, I think it's around uh, 58 horsepower, but as I say, they've uh, they've made some changes to the torque curve to bring the torque lower down, so it actually feels much faster than the old bike, uh, and, and much quicker than that uh, that number would make you think. The other thing that uh, Triumph have done that uh, is a good move is they've changed the service interval, so you can now do 10,000 miles on this before she needs a service, which is brilliant. And uh, with the changes they've had to make for things like the Euro 4 emissions and noise regulations, it's also made it more frugal, and Triumph are quoting, I think, 75.5 miles per gallon fuel economy, which is just um, uh, you know amazing. So she's going to be cheap to run. Okay, so that's uh, that's enough of that. Uh, one, of the, one or two of the other things I like, things like this brushed aluminium cover here, nice detail. I like the way they've got the uh, Bonneville motif there. Uh, this is uh, it's called the 900 HT engine, stands for high torque. This is the only uh, one of the new water-cooled range that uh, actually has the 900cc engine. All the others will have the new 1200cc engine. Um, but they've done that very clever thing with the exhaust pipe, where they've actually, it's, uh, it's got this fake bit at the bottom here where it snakes back into the big uh, box underneath for the emissions work and then comes back out again but it achieves this look of being a, a just one pipe uh, which uh, which is a great move I love what they've done here with this bit of detailing as well things like the just the color of the spark plug uh, cover is right that that color red is very retro I love that so the engine looks lovely um, yeah really nice looking little bike okay enough chat let's jump back on her okay so like all trumps you have to pull the clutch in to get her started And I don't know if the mic's picking up that sort of lovely rumble she's got. She's also got a bit of a buzz about her that's sort of reminiscent of the street triple in a way. Okay. Handling wise, she's really lovely as I say. Feels lovely and light on the move. Steering's very sharp. And for this sort of countryside riding, what more do you need? She's got a big old 17-inch uh, front wheel, so you have to sort of muscle it around the turns a little bit, but that's not at all difficult. And actually makes it feel quite stable in the turns. Suspension is set nice and, uh, well, a nice balance actually. It's not too stiff, not too soft. Handling-wise on these little twisty roads, uh, she feels nice and planted. At the same time, I'm not being really jarred about like I would be if I was on my street triple, for example. Nice, simple uh, instrument binnacle. Very clear to read. Nicely done. And they've added this extra info button here, so you can cycle through the various options, trip counters, things like that. I like the job they've done on the headlight as well with that bracket. It looks very classy. The whole thing has a quality feel about it. Triumph have really up their game with this latest set of bikes in terms of the build quality. This particular machine is actually built in Thailand, but uh, not that's a bad thing because obviously the principles of uh, build quality have been carried over to the Thailand plant because there's uh, nothing cheap and nasty about this bike at all in terms of its build. I imagine with uh, one of the aftermarket exhausts, of which I'm sure there'll be many, uh, in fact, Triumph have butted up with a company called Vance and Hines uh, for aftermarket exhaust. You could really make this sound spectacular. But uh, to be honest, this uh, this standard exhaust is quite nice. Uh, but compared to the old uh, air-cooled scrambler I rode last year that had the aftermarket arrow on, that, uh, I have to say, did sound nicer. So if you want a comparison between the old scrambler and this, uh, in my mind, the old scrambler with an aftermarket exhaust sounded better. But I'm sure you could get this to much the same sort of uh, standard. It's got the same feel to the engine in terms of its uh, 
character. Another addition for the 2016 bikes, or certainly on this um, Street Twin, is uh, a slip assist clutch, which makes this clutch lever very, very light. I'll uh, turn around here. Makes this um, clutch very, very light and uh, a really nice addition to the rideability. I mean, if you're just getting into motorcycling, this would be a brilliant bike as a first bike. There's nothing intimidating about it whatsoever. Lovely light clutch, lovely snickable gearbox. The only thing I don't like about it are the mirrors, uh, and I'm sure some bar end mirrors will be available if they're not already, so that could easily be rectified. One of the other things that uh, Triumph have done with the uh, new range of Bonnevilles a bit like uh, Ducati did with the Scrambler ranges, they brought out a whole load of accessories you can throw at the bikes. And uh, not only are there hundreds of accessories you can buy for this, but you can also buy some sort of pre-packaged versions. Uh, so you can convert it into sort of a flat tracker bike, a Scrambler with some high level exhaust, or more of an urban bike. And those I think Triumph call inspiration kits. And for a few hundred quid more when you buy the bike, you can get those parts ready added on so you don't have to uh, agonise about which of the hundreds of accessories you want to put on the bike. But they've made it very easy to customise. As well as all the bits of the bike as well as uh, I think there's a clothing range as well so if you want to go down the whole lifestyle route, fill your boots. Even though the top number for brake horsepower, which I think is 57, I might be wrong, I'll, uh, I'll put a caption up if I got that wrong, is, uh, is not that high. It doesn't feel lacking in power at all. It really works some magic with the new ECU and bringing the torque down into that usable range. She doesn't run out of puff until you're well into illegal speeds. Handlebars are quite wide, so easy to pull around the corners. Sweet handling bike, really is. Despite the big front wheel, it feels very much like the um, Street Triple, handling wise. Maybe a little bit more stable, but it's certainly very chuckable. What a lovely day for a bike ride. So there we are folks, that's my uh, quick first impressions review of the Street Twin. The first of the new breed of Bonnevilles that I've ridden. I look forward to riding the rest. Um, in summary, really like the bike. There's nothing I don't like about it except for the mirrors, which is easily changeable. There's no lack of power. She's comfortable as you like. The brakes are adequate. She looks good. Um, good value for money, frugal to run, cheap to run. Nothing intimidating about it. Trump seemed to have thought of everything. Uh, the build quality is lovely. It's cheap to buy. Uh, you know, what more could you want? Um, in my mind, comparing it, as I said before at the start of the review, comparing it to the uh, Ducati Scrambler, I prefer this, but then I'm a Triumph fan. Uh, I just think it's got uh, a certain sort of British retroness about it, despite being built in Thailand, that uh, really appeals to me. I mean, ride them both and take your choice if you're in this, if you're in this market. But uh, if you just want a, a gentle bike for summer cruising, or if indeed you're a new rider, do take a close look at these new Street Twins. A lovely, lovely bike, and uh, don't just dismiss it because you think the horsepower is low. Really well worth a ride. Okay, hope that's been of interest. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Missing and Fly. Cheerio. Sounds like a motorbike should sound. Very nice.